Hey everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Thanks for joining this morning. If you are new to this channel, we are all about fitness, wellness, and nutrition, but we're looking also at making sure that it's sustainable and doable for the rest of your life. So I'm not gonna give you any like quick fixes because there's not any, is there? <laughs> no, there's not. We gotta work hard and at the end of the day, it comes down to diet and exercise and that's what we are all about here. Okay, today's workout, we are doing a full butt workout with no equipment required so you can do this anywhere, anytime, any place. And we're gonna get started right now. Are you ready? We have one minute per exercise and we're gonna start our first four minutes with warm up glute exercises just to get all of our muscles and joints ready to do this workout. All right, we're starting in three, two, and here we go. All right, feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna give you modifications throughout this whole exercise as well. If we do something that's a little bit more intense, just at the very beginning of the exercise, I will show you how to modify so you don't get injured. All right, that is the name of the game. We want you to be in it for the long haul, not just for a week or for a month. So make sure that you listen to your body and go at your pace. All right, so we're just squatting here. Nice and tall. We're gonna take it nice and wide now into a plie squat. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Warming up those inner thighs a little bit. Good job, everyone. All right, 15 more seconds here. We're gonna hit a little cardio just to get our heart rates up a bit. Get as low as you can on these, really stretch that well down in there, <laughs> down there. <laughs> you know what I mean, let's skip right here. You can both skip right here if you need, just to take out the impact. I'm just saying we gotta stretch up, stretch out down there is what I was saying. You, you got that though, right? Yes, they got that, Tracy. Good. All right, stay here with me. Little ice skater coming up in a few seconds. All right, ready? Here we go, you're doing a jump ice skater. Modify with that step tap right there. Good little hops help to get our heart rate up and that gets the blood flowing to those areas. That's good. All right, five more seconds here in three, two, and one. All right, I want you to just do a reverse lunge, high kick. So get a little hamstring warm up there too. Just kick it up nice and tall. If you can't kick that high, just take it low right here. Good. Good, 10 more seconds on this side, and then we'll switch. All right, switch legs, reverse, and kick. That's it. Way on this side. My heart rate's already up there in three, two, and one. All right, a little squat to roundhouse up here. So I'm going to squat, bring the leg in and around. Getting those hips warmed up. You're a full minute right here. This workout's definitely um, gonna get your heart rate up as well. So it's like a cardio glute workout. I'll probably call it something like that. Rounding through those hips, getting that ball and socket all warmed up. Good, last 15 seconds. In three, 
two, and one. All right, are you ready to start? That was our warm up. I'm already warm. Here we go, let's get started. Okay, with our minute on the clock here, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge into that oblique crunch right here. So lift that hand high above you, crunch to the side. Leg is coming diagonally behind you. We're gonna do 30 seconds per side right here. That's it. Working that glute on your stationary leg. Behind and crunch. So a little two for one on this one. All right, switch sides. Reach and crunch. That's it. So you can put your hand on your hip to balance, out to the side or you can hold on to the side of a couch or chair or a wall. Good. 10 seconds here. Woo, a little tippy. All right, last one right there. Let's go down into a low squat position. You're gonna hold this pulse for one minute. That seems crazy, doesn't it? We're crazy here, what can we say? No. Nice little isometric hold. Helps burn out those glutes. Feeling it in my quads over here too. If you need to come out, shake it out for a second, then get right back down in there as soon as you can. This pulse, stay low, you're halfway there. Good job. Whew. Oh, that burns. Kick it out a little bit for myself. There we go that little standing up lets that lactic acid dissipate just for a second so you can endure the last 10 seconds here push hard in three two and one all right shake that out wow that burns okay single leg hops you're reaching behind you're driving up right here we've got 30 seconds per side Use your arms. Ten seconds. All right, switch legs, switch sides. Reach back and drive. Last 10 seconds here. Don't stop. Coming up as a plie squat. We're gonna focus on those glutes here. All right, that's it. Shake it out. Okay, nice and wide. Toes pointed out. Let's go down as low as we can. Squeeze your butt at the top. Here we go for a full minute. Taking the cardio out, you should be able to bring your heart rate down a little bit during this exercise. Focus on slowing your breathing. But really squeeze your butt at the top here. Fifteen seconds left. In four, three, two, and time. We're gonna do a fire hydrant with an extension, okay? So leg comes out, kick it out, and in. Up, out, in. 30 seconds per side here. So what you wanna try to do is not lean all the way over when you come and extend that leg. Stay upright, nice and tall, over that knee, and extend to the side, all right. Let's switch legs here. Up, out, and in. In four, three, two, and time. 
All right, this next exercise can be done from the ground, but if you have a little leg behind you, let's lift the leg up and we're gonna add a little jump right here on this split squat. 30 seconds per side here. Again, without the jump is an option here to modify, or on the ground right here is a modification as well. Otherwise, you're up here, let's go. All right, switch your legs out there. Get nice and low, pop it up. Doesn't have to be high, just even an inch off the ground there. You're gonna feel this. Good, last 10 seconds, keep going. Woo, all right, check that out. Wow, these legs are feeling it today. Okay, come back to the center. We're taking it into a front lunge, alternating legs here. Drop that back knee as low as you can to the ground. In fact, if you're on a carpet or a rubber mat, feel free to touch that knee to the ground, okay? Good, work at a good clip here. Nice pace. Push off from your heel to get back up. You're halfway there. All right, there you go. Modify your squat jack here. Okay, just an alternating squat. Otherwise, you're jumping it. Here we go. One minute here. You're gonna feel this after one minute. 30 seconds sometimes seems like a long time. I think that's why I like to bat it so much. It's just 20 seconds and then you get a break. This is hard. This burns those muscles out crazy. All right, you're over halfway, come on. We'll give you a little break after this. All right, last 10 seconds. And time. Okay, grab some water, take a little break, and we'll start again. Let's get back on the ground. We're gonna do some frog pulses. Put your feet together, really close to your bottom. You're gonna pulse up to the top, squeeze your glutes at the top right there. One minute here. Now you might feel your feet sliding or your upper body sliding. Periodically, just bring your legs closer to your butt and push and squeeze at the top. That's it. Keep those knees out so you can really target your glutes. Push and squeeze. Good. So 10 seconds left right here. In three, two, and time. All right, stay down here. Let's go into a clamshell lying on your side. Feet together, knees to come together, and then pulse all the way out. Get a good extension as wide as you can go, but keep your toes together. Good. This will fatigue those glutes a little bit. We're gonna stay on each side for a minute just to really burn them out. I don't think 30 seconds is gonna do it, so stick with me here. You're halfway. You can put a little tension on there by pressing down on your knee, okay, as it comes up. Good, I feel that, try it, it's a lot harder. 
by just putting a little tension using your own body weight still. Whew. All right, we're almost there. Last 10 seconds here. In four, three, two, and quickly switch sides. All right, here we go. Bring your legs up towards your body. And I'm gonna start by putting tension on right away there. Really wanna feel these glutes work today. I want to be sore in them by tomorrow. Sometimes when you've been working out for a long time, it's hard to get sore, especially if you're not bearing heavy weights and tearing those muscle fibers. So you've got to really work as hard as you can at the highest intensity that you can if you're using body weight only, okay? Push until you can, rest until you can, always challenging the muscles. Whew. Now I feel it. Last 10 seconds here. In four, three, two, and one. Staying down here for our third exercise on the floor, let's go right into a donkey kick right here. Okay, I want you to keep this really shallow. Don't dip it down and push it up. Let's keep it in a smaller range of motion. Okay, focusing on squeezing the glute at the top. Again, you've got a minute per side here. That's gonna burn. And mostly it's gonna burn the leg that you're stabilizing your body on, I feel. Mine's already on fire. Keep pushing. Keep it shallow, remember. Pulse press. Good, last 20 seconds. Now it's hurting. 30 seconds wouldn't have done it. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, here we go. That's it, pulse it up. Little presses to the ceiling. This would be good done in front of a mirror so you can make sure that your foot is pressing straight up and not back that way, right? Pulse up, up, whoo. When you focus on that more, you're really gonna feel that glute because that's the muscle that's elevating the leg up there. Keep going. 20 seconds left. I'll give you a little stretch after this one because I'm on fire right now, holy. Ten seconds, come on. In four, three, two, and one. Oh my. Oh wait, have a seat. Let's just do a little glute stretch here for a second. Bring that leg in. Stretch that muscle out. That is on fire. Bernie Burns. That's good. Okay, another little stretch on this side. Job. How about we kick it up with a little bit more cardio? All right, let's stand up. All right, we're gonna do a little split, split squat combo. Here's your modification. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge squat. Otherwise we're jumping it. Okay, get ready in three, two, and here we go. Split, split, squat. I alternate my front leg there just to switch things up. Keep my mind focusing on something besides the pain. Holy, I'm halfway there. Keep going. Oh, one minute's a long time, isn't it? But push and challenge, we usually do 30 seconds, so try to go harder. 15 seconds. Oh, three, two, and 
two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little break. That was hard. All right, let's take it to the side of a couch or bench. We're gonna do some single leg glute thrusts here. One leg is up, one leg is down. You're resting right underneath your shoulder blades. Let's go for 30 seconds aside here. Sometimes I like to support my neck by putting my hands behind here. Feel free to do that. Press up to the ceiling. Low and push. All right, switch sides here. Keep the flow going. Hip goes down, press. All right, last 10 seconds, keep it going. just decided to join us. You're gonna do a little three pulse squat and then a squat jump. All right, ready? One minute, here we go. One, two, three, and jump. Now for modification, eliminate the jump. Just stay down and pulse squat to stand. One, two, three, and jump. One, two, three, and jump. Fifteen seconds. Oh, last one. Oh boy, that burns. Let's finish off with a little side lunge right here. Okay, think about that glute pushing your body back up, okay? Let me just show you sideways here. Reach your hips back. Push your glute in, drive your body back up. All right, you're 30 seconds per side here. You want your hips to be way far back. And it's a hip thrust that propels you back to standing. Good job. Reach and push. All right, switch sides here. Here we go. Lunge, push, back and up. All right. You're still hitting a squat on that one side. It's just that one leg is straight and one is reaching back. All right, let's do that another round, okay? Here we go, go back to the other side now. So in total, we'll have it a minute per side, but it's a hard one to get just on how you should put your hips back. So I kind of wanted to show you there first. Let's continue. Reach as if you're gonna sit down. 10 more seconds on this side. All right, switch sides, here we go. Reach. If you think that word reach in your mind, you're more apt to reach back with those hips. Good. We're gonna finish off with our last cardio exercise. Some oblique frog squats. I'll give you a little break before we start though. All right, in three, two, and one. Okay, 15 seconds here. I'll show you the modification. So you're gonna just go down, come up, touch the ground. Otherwise, you're jumping that right out. Ready? In three, two, one right here. Reach to the ceiling. Last minute. Work hard.
halfway. You're getting dizzy, just look at the ground instead of rotating that neck. Keep pushing, you only have 15 seconds left. Drop your butt. Don't just bend at the waist on this one. Still doing a squat, come on. Four, three, two, and time. Oh, good job. Let me catch my breath and we'll chat. All right, everyone, that was a great glute workout. Make sure that you do a good little stretch for those glutes because they are going to be sore tomorrow. But hey, that's the name of the game. That means you're tearing the muscle fibers. That means you're progressively overloading the muscles. That means you're growing your butt. So winning. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for our next one. Again, we have new videos coming up every Wednesday and Saturday. So make sure that you subscribe, click the link below, and then click that little bell too because that will give you um, an announcement. An announcement, it will give you an indicator. It will let you know when I put out a new video and then you can just go ahead and do it. All right, thanks for tuning in and as always, go and move daily.